Welcome everybody, this is your boy Geronimo Toro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Boss V31, Wee's GNZ Gaming, and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform, and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go in some of the description below and go check them out. And we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install the safe house reload mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always make sure that you do download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. This mod does require enable all interiors, so I will leave this mod inside my description below as well. Now it does require lemon UI as well, so I will leave this mod inside my description below as well. Now unfortunately, the safe house reloaded mod does only work with version 1.5.2. So make sure that you do download version 1.5.2. Download it from here. So all you got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Now next, make sure that you do go to your scuttlev.net.ini file, double click and change your reload key to insert. Next, exit and save it. Now next, make sure that you do have a scripts folder. If you do not have one, simply right click and create a new folder and name that folder scripts. Don't forget, it does require lowercase, so make sure that you do spell it correct and make sure it is all lowercase. Open up your scripts folder now, now let's begin installing our mods. All you got to do is open up your Lemon UI extract folder, go to your SHVDN2 folder, select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Now next go to your SHVDN3 folder, select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder, then exit out of your extract folder. Next, open up your safe house reloaded extract folder. Then go to this folder. Then go to this scripts folder. Now, all you've got to do is select all the files and folders, except for the text file, and drag it inside your scripts folder. And now exit out of your extract folder. Now lastly, open up your Enable All Interiors Extract folder. Go to this scripts folder. And now select all the files, except for the text file. And drag it inside your scripts folder. And now select Replace. Now exit out of your extract folder. Now lastly, go to your Grand Theft Auto V. And now right click, refresh your main folder, exit out of your game folder, right click, refresh your desktop, and I'll see you guys in the game. And now we are here in the game. So when you jump in the game, your game will freeze like this, okay? So don't worry, just wait for a few seconds. And now when you're in the game, okay, all you got to do is go and open up your phone, go to your contacts, Go right down to the bottom and you'll see enable all interiors. Call enable all interiors. Wait for a few seconds. Go to change an interior. 
then go right down to the bottom to misc options then go to load mp maps change that to true then go to enable blips change that to true this next step is optional i always do this but go to random color blips and change that to true once you have done that then exit out of your settings Go to refresh interior and press enter. Wait for a few seconds, then exit out of your menu. Next, go on your keyboard and press insert. Now your game will freeze again for only a few seconds. And then there you go. Now, all you gotta do now is go outside and now we can purchase a safe house. When you go to your main map, you see a couple of safe houses okay so let's go to the closer safe house and we are going to teleport there using Mino. now we are at our safe house now when you go to your safe house you'll see a yellow marker go to the yeah go here press e go to options and now purchase the house there you go press e again options and enter the house and then there you go, see? So it does break 100%. You can go downstairs, but I'm not gonna go downstairs because it's a waste of time. Now you can go over here, press E, go to options, go to house options, and enter the garage. And then there you go. Now with this menu over here, you can press E again, go to options, then go to remove and add a vehicle, and go to add a vehicle and now you can add whatever vehicle you want say for an example uh, a SC, uh no like a muscle you can use the nightmare and there you go or you can change it to uh feature shop there you go so you can purchase whatever vehicle you want okay and now you can fill up your your garage with vehicles but if you want, you can remove the vehicle. Just simply remove and slot one. There you go. And you can simply go to house options and exit the garage. Now there you go, you're outside. And that's how you guys install the mod. And that's how you use the safe house reloader mod. And we're back again, so I hope you guys do enjoy that mod. But like always, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, or if you do have another mod that you need help and support with, then comment below and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. But unfortunately, I'm not active inside my YouTube comments. So if you need fast reply, then inside my description below, I will leave my Discord server inside my description below or my Discord name so you guys can DM me and ask me for some help, okay? So with that all said, if you guys did enjoy this video or if this video was helpful, then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.